Hey everyone, in this video I'll share how to make a salicylic acid solution and a salicylic acid face serum. You can use the solution for many cosmetic products. You can skip to the part of the serum if you don't want to watch how to make the solution. Salicylic acid comes in the form of a fine white powder and we need to dissolve it in a solvent to use it for cosmetic products. The first solvent I use to make the salicylic acid solution is sodium lactate. 59 grams of sodium lactate and one gram of salicylic acid powder. To make the solution, add the salicylic acid to the sodium lactate and stir to dissolve. You can find more information on salicylic acid in the post on the website. After stirring, leave the solution aside and check after a few hours to ensure the salicylic acid is fully dissolved. Sodium lactate can be used in cosmetic formulas usually up to 5%, so the solution with sodium lactate will only result in a very low salicylic acid percentage in a total of 100% formula. The next solvent I used was castor oil. Castor oil can be a good option if you want to make an oil-based product with salicylic acid. I used 59 grams of castor oil with 1 gram of salicylic acid powder. This oil-based solution can be used when you want to create a lip products or body products that are oil-based. You can use the whole castor oil solution to achieve 1% salicylic acid in the final product or half of the castor oil solution to achieve 0.5% salicylic acid in the final product. The next solvent I am showing here is glycerin. The salicylic acid hardly dissolves in the glycerin. Even when I use 59 grams of glycerin to dissolve 1 gram of salicylic acid, I'm showing you the glycerin solution here so you can consider that it is a less suitable solvent for salicylic acid. I will show you later that the salicylic acid didn't dissolve in the glycerin even after a few hours. The last solution I'm showing here is using propendiol with salicylic acid. Propendiol is used as an alternative to propylene glycol in many cosmetic products. Propendiol is the best solvent I found for dissolving salicylic acid. You only need 15 or 16 grams of propendiol to dissolve 1 gram of salicylic acid. According to many suppliers, you can use up to 25% of propendiol in a formula. If you use the whole solution in a formula, which is 16 grams, you can achieve 1% of salicylic acid in the formula. You can make a 32 gram solution from 30 grams of propendiol and 2 grams of salicylic acid and then use 20 grams of this solution to achieve a total of 1.25% salicylic acid in a product. Here you can see that after about an hour, the sodium lactate solution and the castor oil solution are clear. The glycerin solution is still cloudy and the salicylic acid powder does not dissolve even after an hour. The propendiol solution is also clear and the salicylic acid is dissolved. Of all the options, the propendiol solution is the most efficient for a water-based formula. Here you can see the four solutions I made after about three hours. The only solution that is still not clear is the glycerin solution. You can use this as a guide when making products with salicylic acid. We know we need to dissolve the salicylic acid in a solvent, and depending on the solvent, we need to use different amounts of solvent to dissolve the salicylic acid. Another thing that can help to dissolve the salicylic acid is heating the solvent with the salicylic acid. You can also dissolve the salicylic acid in ethanol. You have more information in the written post. When you make a salicylic acid solution, you can label it with the date you made it and also check the pH level on the day you made it. Write down this information so you will have it when you want to use the solution in a formula. I wrote about the pH levels for products with salicylic acid. You can read about it in the written post. The link is in the description. In general, for water-based products, it is best to use a solution with propendiol or propylene glycol. You can achieve a higher percentage of salicylic acid with these solvents. You can use the solution to make serums, hair products, face toners, or body products. 
Next, in this video, I will show you how to use the salicylic acid solution to make a salicylic acid face serum. To make the face serum, I made a slurry by combining xanthan gum with glycerin. You have the formula for the serum on the website. After making the slurry, I add distilled water. You can use chamomile or rose hydrosol instead of distilled water. Mix well to combine the slurry with the distilled water. In this formula, I also added niacinamide. Niacinamide helps calm the skin and control oil production, reducing breakouts. It fights acne-causing bacteria, minimizes pore size over time, and lightens dark spots and post-acne marks. I also use lactic acid for this face serum. The amounts I used and more information are in the written posts. In this formula, I use green tea extract for its anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties. It also has antimicrobial and skin soothing properties. The green tea extract has a dark green brownish color, affecting the face serum's final color. You can use other extracts instead, such as licorice root extract or chamomile extract. I also added a small amount of fragrance, but you can skip the fragrance and add this amount to the distilled water if you want to make a fragrance-free serum. Mix everything to combine well and then add the preservative. I use Cosgard for this formula. The last ingredient I added to the face serum was the salicylic acid solution made with the propendiol. Before pouring it into a bottle, I checked the pH level of the serum. You can find more information on pH adjustments on the website. For serums with active ingredients, it is best to use dark glass dropper bottles that can protect from light. You should keep the serum in a dark place far from heat. In the post on salicylic acid, I also added a formula for salicylic acid face cleanser. This is the final face serum with the salicylic acid solution.